Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Look at this with the articulating tail. Hey, it's Nisha. So we're done with crazy Christmas and now we're into the new year. It's time for me to get caught up on some of my jewelry to list. And we're going to start with this auction that I won on Shop Goodwill and it comes from Maryland. So let's go take a look. All right, so let's open this up. It's got padding. That's always good, right? Ooh. Bubble wrap. Yay! It's a bubble wrap. Let me insert here. Keep this with us. Wow. Nice and protected. Okay, let's see. I think we take this, this right off. Oh, maybe not. So let's open this up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Looks very pretty. There's some loose pieces, so I will keep the plastic bag um, and just make sure there's nothing I need to glue back in. It happens sometimes. Okay, so let's take a look. I'll just pull one piece out at a time. All right, we'll start with this one. That's pretty. Like a stick pen, hat pen, porcelain, or is that plastic? Uh, it might be plastic. Hand painted. Now, sometimes if you look at the bar right here, it might be marked um, 10K, 14K, something like that. Um, so you always want to check that. And then to know if it's hand painted, you can see the brush marks, the strokes. The paint will be thicker uh, because it was applied with a brush. All right, I think it's plastic. It's glass. Okay. All right, cool. All right, that's a fun hat pen, stick pen. I like that. Ooh, this is cool looking. Look at that. Mm. Whoa, I can't even bring it all the way up to the camera. This is such a large brooch. Wow. Okay, so it has a lot of different uh, images on it looks like um i was going to say dragons but there's another word for that we have a crown and ostrich feathers <laughs> oh okay so it's vogue so if we look at the back here it says vogue jewelry okay so it's definitely vintage and look at that construction you have the back panel here and then the uh pieces in the front are what's called repousse, where they hammer metal and onto a pattern to create this section of the jewelry piece. Wow, this fabulous piece. Now for something like this, uh, since it's vintage, I would definitely list this on Etsy. I would also list it on eBay. Poshmark and Macari. And you're probably wondering, well, how do I do this? <laughs> I have a secret weapon and I'm going to share it with you right now. It's called List Perfectly. If you want to know more, I have a video you can check out. It helps me to uh, grow my business, to list 
cross this easily and quickly. Um, if you want to check it out for yourself, I do have a link in the description below. Oh man, look at that. That is just gorgeous. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Okay, this is a fun piece. I like the swirls. Kind of a modern, it almost looks like 1970s. It does have a little bit of bent section here on the top. So let's take a closer look. Got that textured metal. A little bit of damage right there. Very pretty piece. All right, cool. Ah, Christmas tree. Like the rhinestones. Oh, hoo -hoo, yay. We have Eisenberg ice. Christmas tree. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yay. Ooh, hoo. Okay. So let's look at that hallmark. I'm going to take the bar out of the way so you can see the hallmark. But look at that. There's the mark. Super happy with that. There is some wearing on the plating. That does happen with some of the older pieces. Um, it is a vintage piece. You can tell by the construction, but also um, the hallmark. Wow, super happy, super happy. Wow, this is cool. Okay, I love the uh, courting couple scene. It's almost like fairies. They have wings on them. I love the open work or filigree of the piece. It's marked H-N-O-C. I'm not familiar with that manufacturer mark, so let's take a look. So I have a loop. I keep one with me all the time. And I also have uh, extra ones in the house. All right, so let's take a closer look at the manufacturer's mark. Interesting. So just looking at it, the construction of it, it doesn't look to be vintage. It's a fun piece. I like the way it looks. Okay, cool. Okay, classic bar pin brooch. Okay, so the bar is this rectangular shape. They were very popular uh, during the 1920s, Art Deco. You'll find them uh, a lot during that time period. This is definitely more modern. Just seeing if the pen is sticking out from the uh, clasp. I mean, the bar is sticking out from the clasp. So just so you know, the back construction of, of the brooch, this section is the hinge, this is the bar, and this is the clasp. All right, so then on the front, we have these uh, rhinestones. Now, I don't think this is uh, made from gold, but we'll do a little check, check. So this is definitely magnetic. Gold, silver, platinum are not magnetic. And so this is not made from gold, but it's still a very pretty piece. All right, cool. All right, oh, wow. Look at that. I love the flowers, and then they have the, the inside sections of the flowers as well. Take a closer look. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a linzer. So I'll show that to you. I always like finding this brand. So it's definitely a vintage piece. You spell it L-I-S-N-E-R. 
And it looks like, yeah, there's something uh, off with the clasp. I will have to look at it. The bar is not staying in there. Okay, so I'll have to check that one out. Okay, so that happens sometimes with brooches. Uh, if they're valuable enough, I will sell them, but I'll just sell them as um, needs repair. Okay, cool. Wow, look at that. I love the way the texture is on this piece and how it's a spiral, but um, it has this undulating, almost like um, trim that you would see on clothing. Wow, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, so it's not sawing. Let's take a look at the back. And then it looks modern, but it could be like mid-century modern from the 1960s. I'll have to do some research on that one. I'm not sure if it's a vintage piece, meaning uh, 20 years or older or if it's something more contemporary. All right. Ooh, look at that. Looks like a wreath. You could wear that any time of year, but it would look great for a holiday party. Look at that texture. All right, so let's check the back. Okay, there is a hallmark. All right, we have Monet, M-O-N-E-T right there at the bottom. Fabulous. All right, so let's see, is this vintage? Hmm. I think it is vintage. It's very heavy, even though the bar doesn't extend out from the end here. It does have these two grommets, which are always a good sign of a quality piece of these grommets right here. Um, all right, so a little bit more research, though. All right, great. Oh, dear, this has seen better days. It's like a bit of tarnish. It's still a fun piece, like the angel with the rhinestones. And then we'll check out the back. With that construction, it's definitely vintage. Not sure the exact date. It does have on the front, you see these uh, larger rhinestones right here. Those are Aurora Borealis stones. Uh, they're not actual stones, but they're made either from plastic or glass. Those are usually commonly found in 1960s, 1950s. Just checking to see if it's maybe made from silver being from, um, with so much tarnish on it. All right, cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. So it's milk glass. Cabochon set in the center with all these little milk glass stones going around the, the outside. And then you'll notice there's, these originally were clear rhinestones, but they've darkened over age. And definitely vintage. We have the pin bar sticking out from the end here. And you can see this mesh along with the way the rhinestones are connected together here. Uh, great piece. Oh, wow, look at that. That would look fabulous at a party. Look how it sparkles. Wow. Okay. So I can tell this is vintage. It has layers of these little flowers with Aurora Borealis blue stones. And let's look at the layers. You see the layers? Cool. Oh, it's a Weiss. Ooh, yay. Look at that. Totally cool. Now you can see the grommet 
construction here. That's classic 1960s. And even this section here, how that was constructed, that's definitely 1960. Unfortunately, there is some wearing on the enameling. I have to check and see how bad it is. You see some of the flowers are missing, some of the enameling, but it's just a fabulous piece. All right. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Look at this with the articulating tail. Gosh, that is so great. When you're wearing it, the tail would be moving around. I just love this poodle. Oh, and it's signed. I didn't even see that before. Let's see if we can read that. Okay, it's signed art. I'll see if I can show that to you. It's right underneath the, right there. It's definitely vintage. Oh, wow. Okay, I love it. Super fab, okay. Oh, this one is missing a couple rhinestones. Oh, it's very interesting. I used to find these all the time. They're wishbone brooches or pins, but I'd never seen one with flowers before. Unfortunately, it's missing several of the uh, rhinestones on here. But you can see the wishbone underneath there. Uh, definitely vintage. A little bit of wearing and tarnish, but still a fun piece. It looks really cool even without the rhinestones on there. All right. Okay, so this one is the Florida Lee. A little bit abstracted. I'm not sure if that's a stone in the center. Looks to be vintage. Definitely has some wear. All right, so let's check this out. Oh, yes, yeah, missing several stones. Okay, it's magnetic. It is cool to the touch, but I've been handling it a lot. Um, so I'm not sure if it's glass. It could be glass. Yeah, I think it's glass. I think what the darker marks are or the uh, glue residue that's uh, changed over time. All right. Okay, fun. I like, it really sparkles. Has that classic 1960s uh, construction on the back. It's unsigned. It's a nice pin. Uh, yes. I love the color combination. It, when I first looked at it, I thought it was um, turquoise stone, but it's enameling. And unfortunately, there's a lot of chipping of the enameling. You can see where it's not the greenish blue anymore, and that's where the chips are. Let's see. It is signed, so let's take a look. So it's signed Jerry's. So they have some great designs. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I think this will go into a craft lot. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay, so we have a Democratic donkey pin. It's definitely a vintage. We have the pin bar extending from the end of the uh, clasp. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun piece. All right, cool. Oh, look at that. Is that enameling on the the pin? I'm not sure if that's enameling on the front of the metal or if that was the color of the metal to begin with. It has a striking look. 
and that's the back. All right, fun. All right. Got your party brooches here today with this one. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's unsigned on the back. And that could be rhodium plating. I've just started learning about that, um, but I'm not uh, completely sure on that one. So if you know and familiar with that, I would love to know more. Okay. All right, let's take a closer look at those stones. Look how they're inset. Cool. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah, I was studying about these types of um, stones. See how they're pointed? What it is, is they take the stones and instead of um, inserting them so the points are facing downwards, they face them upwards. I think it's called Revolia or Revoli. I don't remember the name of this process, but it has a very different look to it. So that's what it is. If you, if you know the actual name, I would love to know it, what it is. Okay, cool. Look at that. It is sign. Okay, made in Austria. Okay, so it's it's probably Austrian crystals, which is cool really gorgeous piece. I love the shimmer of it. Oh, this is just fun. I just love how delicate this is with the enameling on the flower. And then we have the ring or wreath brooch style with the pearl. Let's see, is it signed on the back? Yes, it is signed on the bar. We'll take a closer look with the loop. Oh, Cremence, which I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but let's take a closer look. So to spell it is K-R-E-M-E-N-T-Z, I believe, but great. I love that piece. All right, so this looks like a vintage pen without even looking at the back because of the color of the pink and then the design. So we'll take a closer look. Gosh, it's just gorgeous. It's amazing how much detail there is in such a small piece. All right, and then we have the back unsigned. Look at the grommets. 1960s, maybe a little earlier. Cool. Oh, so if anybody's afraid of spiders, don't look, don't look. But I love insect brooches. Yeah. Oh, it was so fabulous. And I love the way they did the legs and they got the rhinestone going all the way up and down the legs. It's spectacular. And look at the back. So it's vintage construction, and then we have the tarnish. Makes me think it might be silver plate or even silver. Okay, so we'll check. Are you silver? No, might be silver plate. Okay, but still, don't look. Okay, bye spider brooch. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I would still call this a, a bar brooch. It is a maybe a glass cabochon in the center with the filigree on top of the oval shape brooch. And then let's take a closer look at the front. Great. And then on the back is the, the manufacturer I'm not familiar with. Jan Michaels of San Francisco. So if you're familiar with them, I would love to learn more because I, it has a very uh, Victorian look to it or style, meaning that it looks like it's 
Victorian, but it's not wasn't made during that time period. All right, cool. So this is our last piece. And I have to say, I just love all the pieces I got from this auction. Uh, every piece has just been fabulous. So let's, this is an eternity knot rope, texture brooch, and it is signed. Carol Lee. I love their designs. They really have some fabulous pieces and it's just a great way to end the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about List Perfectly, check out this video. If you enjoyed this video, then give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.